It is Wednesday, April 24th, 2024. I'm DeAndre Hamilton. Good morning. And I've got your TCI Top Stories in the Morning Edition, a magnetic media production. Century 21 Arashar Properties is your best resource for buying or selling any real estate in the Turks and Caicos Islands, whether it's a condo, house, villa, commercial property, or vacant land. Century 21 TCI can assist you with your real estate needs. No matter the sign, keep Century 21 Arashar Properties in mind. Call 649-941-7368 or email your friends at century21tci.com. An expert panel has been convened by the Turks and Caicos Energy and Utilities Department, led by its Commissioner Delano Arthur, for several rounds of public consultation. Arthur says the EUD is trying its hardest to engage with stakeholders for their necessary opinions on the upcoming utilities regulator. We want feedback. We want to hear from you. We want to understand. Large companies from telecoms to fuel have met with the EUD, but for residents, the overarching concern was the need for oversight. Robert Adams, legal consultant, confirmed that oversight will come to the benefit of all. If you are a regulated entity who has no obligation today to be transparent, it may seem a bit frightening, big and scary, But it is good for the whole. Consultation on the multi-sector utilities regulator continues until May 24th. The public will finally get closure on a suite of unexplained death cases as coroner's court proceedings continue this week, headed by Coroner Makia Mills. On Monday, police officers involved in the 2018 police shooting death of Laverne Smith were expected to give testimony. Smith was shot dead on January 1st that year, two months after he was released from prison in a shootout where an officer was also injured. Also included on the docket is a child death matter where a baby died from being smothered and the 2022 vehicular death of Romario Ricardo Reed. Finally, a decision will be heard in the drowning death of Howard Kane, also happening in 2022. Our YouTube channel is alive with new episodes of Turquoise Morning and news reports on the Turks and Caicos and the Bahamas. Look for MMTV Caribbean. The National Health Insurance Plan has over 37,000 contributors. That's 37,000 of us working together to take care of one another. Your contribution ensures my wife and unborn child gets the prenatal care they deserve. Your contribution helps me to afford my medication. Your contribution has helped my loved one receive treatment during their untimely emergency. Your contribution gives my family peace of mind. So thank you for your contribution. This message has been brought to you by the National Health Insurance Board, building a health Healthy nation, one person at a time. Wilkie Arthur filed an update on the court case of the Royal Jewels armed robbery of 2020, saying Will against Noel was arrested in November of 2020, remanded to the Department of Corrections and Rehabilitation, waiting three years before being offered bail and release. Two months later, January 22, 2024, his trial for the November 18, 2020 robbery began, ending last week after a jury deliberation of two and a half hours and a trial of three Three months. The verdict? Guilty. That was returned on April 18th. Allegations are that Noel had turned up for medical care with gunshot wounds after the robbery and his blood had been found in the getaway car. Noel's attorney, Sheena Mayer, attempted on several occasions to get the DNA evidence thrown out and says an appeal will be lodged immediately to fight the conviction. Meanwhile, Will against Noel has more waiting to do. His sentencing hearing, said Arthur, is set for May 9th. The Fortis TCI Grassroots Football League is now on in two islands, Grand Turk and South Caicos. And the children are fully taking part, decked out in Fortis TCI-sponsored jerseys. The third Grand Turk match took place on Monday, but there's one more weekly game to catch. It will be held at 5 p.m. April 29th. The South Caicos League started last Wednesday, April 17th, on the grounds of the Iris Stubbs Primary School. Games will continue every Wednesday at 3.30 for the next three weeks, including today, Closing on May 8th, 2024. It's the news that matters most. Magnetic Media. Consultation on the multi-sector agency regulator for your Turks and Caicos utility sector continues. And the Energy and Utilities Department urges you to tell them what you think. 
The regulator will give oversight to telecommunications, petroleum retailers and wholesalers, water and sewerage, and energy. Get and review the draft policy and email your feedback to regulatory consultation at gov.tc. That's regulatory consultation at gov.tc. He spoke hope to residents and gave warnings to criminals in his first speech as the TCI's new commissioner of police. Now we hear what Edvin Martin had to say to his own team. We must seek out and purge the organization of any semblance of bias, corruption, and maleficence. It cannot be a case of doing as I say and not doing as I do. The public deserves an accountable police force, a police force that is professional and responsive to the needs of its citizens. PC Martin maintained there will be a restructuring of the force to bring the Turks and Caicos in line with its counterparts and make the RTCIPF the pride of these islands. In weather today, looking ahead to Saturday, the rain chance jumps significantly for some of the islands. But today, sun and clouds mix with the high at 82 degrees. Tonight, partly cloudy and the low, not much of a low at all at 75 degrees. I'm DeAndre Hamilton. Thank you for joining us on the news that matters most. Top Stories is a magnetic media production.